Karate Kid played one of the biggest roles in spreading karate across the Western world. However, it's also a fact that people misunderstood karate and made it into something a little bit different from the original meaning and the original form. So today, let's see how the Japanese audience um, reacted to Karate Kid. And let's see if they thought the karate that was presented in the movie was fake. Let's get started. All right, so let's start with the first one. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, uh, she's saying, or he maybe, is saying, it was a bit funny to see Japan being so, too much um, fantasized or making it into something like a fantasy in this movie. Like ch catching a fly with chopsticks, bonsai everywhere in the house and with the bandanas because we don't really have those three, you know, in Japan normally. Um, however, she's saying that the relationship between the sensei and Mr. Miyagi and Daniel is very good and that she enjoyed the character development in this character in this movie. And yeah, she loved Karate Kid too as well. So pretty good start, right? Okay, let's keep on continuing. Next one, 3.5, a little bit higher. Uh, she's saying, oh, there's a, like everybody knows, there's a remake of Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. And the funny thing is, oh, she's talking about Mr. Miyagi, saying that just Mr. Miyagi, just the actor standing there, just makes the whole scene. So everybody, in, or at least this person in Japan, seems to love the Pat Morita. And also, oh, this is a funny thing about the karate point, um, how they have the, the towel, you know, wiping across that wax on, wax off scene is a little bit funny because we don't really know if that's useful in karate. So I guess some people in Japan are sensing something is a little bit off, but they're saying that everybody was copying it. So I guess at the time when Karate Kid was on, you know, in the movie theaters in Japan, just like the States, people were doing this. So, from my expectation, I thought, you know, more people knew karate, like, like the actual karate in Japan, so people, people would know the differences, but I guess not so much. Wax on, wax off. The important thing about karate is harmony, so everything um, has to be in balance. So, yeah, he is finding that part very interesting, and he also is mentioning about the culture part, um, how... Um, Japanese karate dojos were booming everywhere after um, World War II. So yeah, he seems to be loving it. Next one, 4 out of 5, so very high. Uh, she's saying that it was a very good movie. And the best part was that how Johnny was not a 100% villain. There was also a good within him. So just being able to see that, I guess, in the last scene in the tournament uh, was very good. You know, kids can be become anything. It's just the adults that are around um, him or her that forms um, the characters. And just by seeing that wax scene, it just makes me um, want to watch it again. So I guess everybody is having a positive, um, um, you know, opinion on Karate Kid. And before we move on to the next part, let me quickly say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning platform with a variety of courses such as animation, creative writing, film and video, and all the way up to web development, business, lifestyle, productivity, anything you can think of. It's actually my fourth month into using Skillshare for running this channel and recently I've made my own uh, merch website which is coming out very soon and in order to do this I had to rely on Shopify which is another third party app. However, I didn't know how to do it so I went on Skillshare, searched for Shopify and all these courses were there. I especially um, watched this one, which helped me a lot, and it's three hours, which means the information covered is so deep. And guys, usually you only get seven days of free trial, however, they were nice to give us a month of free trial, so check it out from the description box. All right, back to the video. Oh, this one was pretty good too, um, 3.5 out of 5, so not so bad. Saying, Daniel-san, did Jimmy ni maika ittu ru tokoro kawaii isu yo ne? So, the fact that um, Mr. Miyagi is saying Daniel-san every time is very cute. Uh, you know, normally, 
Mr. Miyagi is older and Daniel is younger, so you wouldn't be saying something something son to somebody um, younger. Yes, if you want to be super polite, you can say that, but it's not so common to hear somebody probably in their 50s or 60s um, saying something something son to a teenager. But you know, that shows the character of Mr. Miyagi and this Japanese person is finding it cute. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, 3.8 out of 5, he says that um, she or he um, copied getting the uh, fly with the chopsticks and also the car wash too. So <laughs> I guess, I guess the, the karate level within the common, the normal audience in both America and Japan wasn't, you know, super hot because some of the, some of the people are um, taking it pretty seriously. <laughs> oh, this one, 4 out of 5. Um, together with Mr. Miyagi's creepiness, so I guess she found Mr. Miyagi creepy, and a little bit of um, wrong, you know, small mistakes of Japan Japanese culture within the movie. However, the base, which is the heart of karate when you do martial art, is written very well or shown very well in the movie. It's a bit, it's a bit funny when you see the, to uh, the training scenes, however, I love the, the last tournament scenes and it's just a good movie to just watch through. So yeah, I mean, I guess this guy knows the difference between karate and the movie karate, but yeah, still it was a, um, she seems to be loving the movie and I myself loved Karate Kid 1. So if you haven't checked out the, the reaction video, um, please watch it from up here. And it seems like the normal Japanese audience did like Karate Kid and enjoyed it. So if you have any other movies that you'd like me to review, or if you'd like to learn how the Japanese people reacted to the martial art Western martial art movies, uh, let me know in the comment section below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to check out my online group lessons and private lessons through Zoom.